My mom, she died of cancer in 2017. Uh, dad died shortly after that. Uh, he just wasn't taking care of himself. He just wanted to kind of be with mom, I guess. Uh, I kind of gave up. Hey guys, it's Action Jackson, Honeycomb Podcast, and today we're here with my buddy John. How's it going, man? Yeah, I've been better, man, but thank you for asking. Right? No problem, yeah. man. Let's just start with, like, upbringing, bro. Like, what kind of upbringing did you have? Two-parent home? Yep, two-parent home. Uh, good father, good mother. You know, love middle class family. Yeah, really, you know, I had a present mom, I had a present dad. They love me. You know, I can't ask for better parents. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, like, how was your, your teenage years? Uh, good. You know, dad was strict. You know, I played a lot of sports. I went to private school uh, in Fredericksburg. Uh, it was uh, an experience, uh, to be say, to say the least. But uh, it's, uh, it's taught me a lot of things. You know, taught me how to conduct myself at times. But at the same time, I don't think I'd say that 100% because I'm outside on the street, you know. I understand, man. You know, life happens to everybody. Yeah. I mean, you never know what your situation going to be. But, um... So, like, what led up to you getting out here on the street? Uh, I was in school. Uh, my mom, she died of cancer in 2017. Uh, dad died shortly after that. Uh, he just wasn't taking care of himself. He just wanted to kind of be with mom, I guess. Uh, I kind of gave up. Uh, I stopped going to class and everything. I stopped. Uh, I mean, at that point, I was in grad school. I stopped going to class. Uh, I stopped paying rent. I didn't get that much, you know, when they passed, you know, my family business was more in debt than anything else at the end of the day, so I didn't get that much, but enough to sustain me long enough, and I was just depressed, and I gave up, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I, I had no motivation left, I had no family, I'm an only child, and I just, uh, I started drinking hard, uh, I stopped though, I'm a year, I'm a year and two months, or a year and three months sober now, Amen. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was drinking a lot, and I kind of just stopped caring, and it's so easy to blow up your life, man, you know, it's, you can work for 26, 27 years, you know, and, and be okay and do good. And then for one year, you can blow everything up. Bro, that's a true statement right there, yeah. John. It just, I mean, trust me, I know from experience, man. I think a lot of times people don't realize how easy it is to go down. And, you know, man, like, tell us about, like, like the drinking situation like how did you get into that i was uh, i was in a fraternity in college and so I was, you know drinking was never that new to me i wasn't i would never drink like in super excess but you know i knew what it was like to get drunk um usually i mean when i was drinking hard it was mainly not to have fun but to numb myself to forget stuff you know to not remember the good times because anytime you remember the good times of something you're never going to see again it's like a nightmare you know and it just it's rough, uh, but again, it's not like someone put a bottle, you know, shut the bottle down my throat or, you know, put a gun to my head and said, drink this or I'll shoot you. I did this, you know. Yeah. And I decided to start drinking like that. So wow. you got to own up to your responsibilities. No matter the situation, you got to own up to your own responsibilities. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Hey, John, man, let's go back because you said you went to college. Yes. And what did you major in? I was bio major. Bio. Bio. Yeah. Tell us about that. It was great. You know, bio biology doesn't lie, you know, it just... <laughs> You know, the genome is a genome, you know, and allele is an allele, a chromosome is a chromosome, you know. It's, it's, it's hard for some, but it's easier for others. Uh, organic chemistry was probably the hardest class I ever took in my entire life. I was happy to get a C. Uh, and I, don't, I usually don't get Cs back in the day. I was, I was really happy back then. But um, it was, it's, it's, inter it's interesting. I wasn't just bio. I mean, I was on the pre-med track, so I just take chemistry classes too. And I think phys physics, physics too was the highest physics I ever took as well. So. It was, just a, it was a course package where you had to, you know, if you want to go into any kind of med school field, then that's what you do. I ended up not going that route, but I went to graduate school instead uh, for bio, biology, uh, mainly uh, microbiome. Uh, but uh, after that one year, and like I said, parents, not good health, they died and they passed away. Again, I, I gave up that year, and, you know, about two years after that, I was on the streets. I understand, yeah. bro. Man, man, man. So, like, right now, do you have any um, relationships, love interests going on? Me, no, man. You know, it's, 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 it's hard out here on the street. I mean, no, it's not hard, but in that regard, any romance like that, no. You know, uh, I couldn't take care of a woman who wanted to right now, you know? I could barely take care of myself, and so I wouldn't want to drag somebody else into my situation like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, as we wind down, what advice would you give somebody, you know, to if you could, like, go back and do it all over again? Never stop trying. No matter what is thrown at you, 
you never stop trying. It's a subtle man. It's not a subtle man if he gets knocked down. Everyone gets knocked down in life, man. Everybody. It's how you get back up. You know, if you get back up, you get hit by a car or a bus or you get hit by a baseball bat. You know, it's my life. But you get back up and you keep on fighting. Never give up. If you, if you give up, look at me like a cautionary tale. This is what happens when you give up. Hey, John. I want to say thank you for your time, brother. Always. You know, this is a little shorter than I planned, but I think you summed it all up. Never, <laughs> never give up. Yeah. Never no give up. what hits you, man. Well, hey, thank no, you. It's easier said than done. Trust me, it's easier said than done, but just don't make my mistake. I agree. Amen. Thank you, brother. No problem.